Tesla is beginning to roll out a new full self-driving beta software update that includes numerous high-level changes that should improve performance. According to the release notes, the update does not include any new features, but it does include a number of high-level updates to Tesla's neural nets to improve overall system performance. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we'll see everything you need to know about the FSD beta recent release and further updates. Tesla began broadening the release of full self-driving beta 10.69.3.1 on Friday, and many customers who had been waiting for the software are now able to use it. Elon Musk announced the general availability on Friday. He also stated earlier in November that Tesla would broaden the release of version 11 of the software before the Thanksgiving holiday in the United States. Tesla Joy, a YouTuber, pointed out that Tesla owners who purchased and subscribed to FSD this year were being allowed into the beta program after months of waiting. By wide release next month, do you mean to those who are currently in beta or to anyone who purchased FSD who will not have to do a safety score? Asked Tesla owner Zach. Elon must reply that it was the second half of the question. One Tesla owner confirmed on Twitter that they received FSD beta with an 81 safety score over the weekend. Joy expressed her delight that several customers who had been waiting to participate in the beta program are now able to do so. Many new FSD customers and subscribers have been disappointed after being denied access to the beta program in the last year. Many people have complained that Tesla took their money but never delivered. Elon initially stated that FSD beta will be available to those with a safety score of 80 or higher when the V11 single stack is available. So I am surprised that the wide release occurred earlier than planned, Joy said. I'm glad these customers who have been working on their safety scores for FSD beta can finally experience this amazing technology. With the addition of new beta drivers, their data points will help Tesla's neural net and FSD algorithm grow and improve, making the technology even better. This is how Tesla will be able to accelerate the development of L5 autonomy for RoboTaxi, she added. Autopilot defeat devices can be detected by Tesla FSD Beta version 10.69.31. When Tesla makes a feature widely available, it will make FSD safer. Irresponsible drivers using defeat devices to fool Tesla's advanced driver assist software have resulted in safety concerns about FSD and autopilot. Tesla Scope, a software tracker, discovered that version 10.69.3.1 disables autopilot when it detects a defeat device. Tesla Scope also mentioned that Tesla is looking into other ways to detect autopilot defeat devices. Tesla began rolling out FSD Beta version 10.69.31 to testers who had waited patiently for software access. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic. During the Q3 2022 earnings call, Tesla reiterated its commitment to making FSD widely available in the fourth quarter. The highly anticipated full self-driving beta wide rollout to customers in North America, including vehicles with less than 100 autopilot miles and less than an 80 safety score, began just before Thanksgiving. Musk reminded the public that when the Tesla FSD is widely released, it will not have regulatory approval. He stated that the wide release of the FSD and regulatory approval are separate matters. Musk did, however, hint at Tesla's plans to release an FSD update next year that would demonstrate to regulators that the car is safer with the autonomous software. According to reports, FSD version 10.69.31's ability to detect autopilot defeat devices is one step closer to regulatory approval. Tesla has also begun to distribute FSD version 11 to a few beta testers. After working out the bugs in version 10.69.31, the company will most likely release version 11 to more testers. Tesla Scope revealed that Tesla's strike system will most likely be revised in version 11. If a defeat device is detected, Autopilot will still disengage and prevent further activation until the next drive. Must confirm on Twitter recently that full self-driving beta is now available to anyone in North America who purchased the FSD suite and drives a qualified vehicle. Must attributed the achievement to Tesla's Autopilot team. Tesla full self-driving beta is now available in North America to anyone who requests it from the car screen, assuming you purchased this option. Congratulations to the Tesla Autopilot team on reaching a significant milestone, Musk wrote. Musk has predicted the wide release of FSD beta several times in the past, and his predictions have generally been inaccurate. 
This was one of the reasons why his prediction during the Q3 2022 earnings call that FSD beta would be widely available this quarter was met with skepticism. We expect to launch full self-driving beta in North America this quarter. So anyone who has ordered full self-driving will have access to the FSD beta program this year, most likely within the next month. So obviously, anyone who buys a car and chooses the full self-driving option will have that option available to them right away, Musk said during the third quarter earnings call. Surprisingly, the Q3 2022 earnings call was held just over a month ago. So, in this sense, Musk's estimate of FSD beta being widely available in about a month was correct. Numerous Tesla owners and software tracking services, such as Tesla Scope, reported the wide release of FSD beta hours before the CEO confirmed the update. A number of Tesla owners who recently received FSD beta said they were surprised because their cars had less than 100 autopilot miles. Other owners who had a safety score less than 80 in their vehicles reported receiving FSD beta as well. For the time being, it appears that the wide release of Tesla FSD beta will involve the distribution of version 10.69.31. Elon Musk previously confirmed that the FSD beta version 11, which uses a single software stack for both city and highway driving, began rolling out earlier this month. This version of FSD beta is also expected to be released soon, though it will most likely be limited to veteran testers who have been with the program for years. Tesla's FSD beta is one of the company's most important projects. Previously, the CEO stated on a podcast that Tesla's ability to solve self-driving problems would be the difference between Tesla being worth a lot of money or worth basically zero. If FSD beta is widely released, it will provide Tesla with a lot more training data, which will help the company develop and improve the system even more. Tesla owners who are just getting started with FSD beta should exercise extreme caution when using the system. While FSD beta allows vehicles to navigate both city streets and highways, it is not yet a hands-free autonomous driving solution. As a result, drivers must remain prepared to take over control of their vehicles at any time, similar to basic autopilot. If the system detects improper use, FSD beta users may be suspended. According to Elon Musk's recent tweets, Tesla owners will soon be able to access FSD beta, possibly without relying on the safety score system. Elon Musk has stated that Tesla intends to broaden the availability of FSD beta version 11 before Thanksgiving. The version 11 update is significant because it is the first iteration of the company's advanced driver assist system to use a single software stack. FSD Beta is expected to run much more smoothly with a single stack than before. Elon Musk stated during the third quarter earnings call last month that Tesla expects to implement a wide release of FSD Beta in North America in the fourth quarter. It's no surprise that Tesla owners asked Musk if his references to a wide release of FSD Beta meant that anyone who purchased FSD would have access to the Advanced Driver Assist system even if they didn't qualify through the Safety Score system. Tesla's Safety Score system was introduced earlier this year as a means of screening drivers interested in participating in the company's FSD Beta program. Tesla Safety Scores are an evaluation of driving behavior based on five metrics. They are known as safety factors, which include forward collision warnings per 1,000 miles, hard braking, aggressive turning, unsafe following, and forced autopilot disengagement. With this in mind, it appears that Tesla's FSD beta fleet will likely see significant growth in Q4 2022, and even more so in subsequent quarters. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Before that, we'd like to know what are your thoughts about the FSD beta recent release. Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you.